Bachelor in Paradise 4, Rachel Lindsay and Ravniford for Karen Olympios support. While Rachel Lindsay's season of The Bachelorette has had its moments, there's little question that it's been overshadowed at times by Bachelor in Paradise and everything that's transpired there. When you look exactly at what's happened, it's easy to understand why. The accusations that were levied were serious, and if there was criminal activity, it could have meant the end of the show. Luckily, an investigation showed that Corinna Limpios and the Mario Jackson committed no wrongdoing, and the show resumed production and everyone started to move on. Heck, at this point even DeMario and Corinne have both moved on enough that they are each willing to appear on the show's reunion, something that we didn't ever think was going to happen a number of weeks ago. Maybe both see this as a chance to tell more of their side of the story and move forward in a way that they haven't yet. Rachel does have a lot of connective tissue to Paradise, even if she is not involved in its filming at all. Many of her former Bachelor co-stars are a part of the cast as are several of the men that were on her season. She is friends with Corinne, and had her on The Bachelorette earlier this season. With that, it makes sense that the two parties have talked since the incident. Here's what she had to say on the matter, per Us Weekly, while at the ESPYs recently. Absolutely I reached out to Corinne, I still consider her a friend. I wanted to make sure that she was okay, and she is, and that's all that I care about. Rachel added that she doesn't know necessarily that much about the incident given that she wasn't there, but is happy that Karen and everyone else is okay. Rachel does absolutely have a lot of other stuff to think about, given that there are still episodes of The Bachelorette to air, and to go along with that, two more specials to film in the men tell all and after the final rose. This was a dramatic season, so there may be some scandals touched on in between what happened with DeMario this time around and then also what happened with Lee Garrett, an offensive dude who really shouldn't have been cast in the first place, place.